welcome back. Okay, so today I have empties for you and I have a lot of empties. I don't know how. I didn't use these up in the last two months from start to finish, but in the last two months I've used up a lot of products. So I'm going to get started. I found this. Um, this is from Love and Toast Persimmon Plum Sugar Scrub. I found this at Target and it was on sale. It says it has no parabens, no petroleum, no mineral oil, you know, yada yada yada. Um, the smell of it was like oranges and plums basically, but I found it was really watery and it would like shoot out like a lot of like oil type feeling product with not a lot of the like scrub sugar scrub part in it and then it would go through periods where it would shoot out like really really thick like or you'd have to really squeeze out like the condensed of the sugar product and then no like emollient or like the oil that makes it nice for your skin so it seemed like kind of separated in here i definitely wouldn't repurchase this again it was on clearance and i can see why the thing i used up is the ocean salt sea scrub or the ocean salt face and body scrub from lush now i use this like completely clean and wash the container now this i've had for a year and it started to get a little bit watery um, because like it was in my shower and so like the product would be open when I was showering and like scooping it out. Um, I originally started using this only on my face and it has, it basically smells like a margarita, but it has like lime, coconut, grapefruit, sea salt, and vodka. Um, this was a great facial scrub. I loved it and made my face feel so good. Um, but then when we were in New York, my husband got his hands washed with this and he has like a lot of calluses and they like really scrubbed on his hands. It made his hands so soft. So then I started using it for more of my body's exfoliator just to use it up because it was going to be expiring. Huh. Oh, okay. It's expiring in June. Yep, June of this year. So, um, yeah, had it for a whole year. It took basically an entire year to use it up. So, if you're thinking of investing in this, um, just know that it, it does take a long time to use up, especially if you're just using it on your face. Um, when you move to more using it on your body, it can go a little bit faster. But like I said, for the past couple of months, I had just started using it on my body. But still, I had a lot to use up. So, Loved this, would definitely repurchase it. One I've had forever. This is the Cherry Blossom Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. Um, this smells like a grandma scent to me. I use this up like purely to like wash cracks and crevices because it would like didn't smell that great. But like why would you not want your cracks and crevices to smell great? I don't know the answer to that. But I didn't feel like I wanted this lingering like on my legit like skin. So you know. That didn't make sense. I wouldn't repurchase this, and I don't even know if they sell the cherry blossom scent. I probably think I'm so disgusting for saying that, but whatever. We all know it's true. You use, like, your last preferred things to get in your nitty-gritties. Okay, this Paris Amour lotion. There's a little bit in it. I cannot get it out. This is from Bath & Body Works. It smells very, very fruity and kind of, like, perfumey. I like it. I I don't always repurchase a certain scent from Bath & Body Works. I think I've said that. I will always buy different scents. I can't, I, th I think Be Enchanted is the only one I've repurchased. and Maybe a chiffon one, pink chiffon. But this one, I just, I like to try a bunch of different scents. And I just get the little minis and use these up and then move on to the next scent. I can't commit to like a full body scent. So I never do it. That's the truth of the matter. Um, this is the 3-in-1 Mary Kay 3-in-1 Time Wise Cleanser. Uh, this is just like a... It had like beads in it. Um, fragrance free. It's supposed to remove eye makeup and stuff. I've had this for a really long time. I finally used it up and I probably won't repurchase it. Okay, these are like little samples but I did want to mention. These are the Happy Hour Weightless Conditioner Blowout Shampoo from Dry Bar. These smell really really good and they smell just like the new me hair products like the new me um shampoos and conditioners so i really really liked these and definitely would repurchase i, I definitely would purchase these in the full size um 
And you can probably get fine at Sephora. This is the BioSoak little sh smoothing shampoo. Would never repurchase this. Um, I don't. I didn't care for it, and I don't know if it was just because it was like an old thing. Because I like the way the BioSoak shampoos smell, but this one didn't smell like the rest. So I don't know if like this had just been sitting around on the shelf for a while, but don't like it. Bamboo Earth Sugar Cookie Body Polish. I got this in. Oh, it smells so good. I got this in a Seasons box, and I did a giveaway with that. So if you're interested in seeing like what came in a Seasons box, which I really think is a great, great box, like a, it comes with full size products, and they're all kind of like environmentally friendly, um, eco friendly type products. So um, this was one of them, a sugar cookie body polish, and it smelled like almond and lemon and. So, so good. I loved it. This was really nice on the skin, and I definitely, if I saw this, where I'll have to look up where you can buy this because I would definitely purchase this. These are compared to the, these are like makeup wipes from Target compared to the Pond's Clean Sweep. I liked these. A lot of you guys in my last video told me to try the Pond's ones, um, but I had gotten these that were compared to the Pond's ones, and I definitely loved them. So I'm going to repurchase these now because they're cheaper than the Neutrogena ones that I really like and I liked the scent. Comes in a 30 count and I like them so I'm going to I'm gonna get these now. Um, I just felt like they were easy on my face. They took my makeup off and they didn't leave my skin irritated so yay for these. Okay Dove Dry Shampoo. I feel like this is such a hit or miss thing. Like some people either love this and some people hate it. I started out hating it. Like I think I, I think I featured it in a crap, but then I started to really like it because I felt like it took off, like it took out the um, like stuff in my roots and it almost like helped my hair appear like because I have to get my roots done even now, but like I feel like it helped my hair appear brighter in between highlights and stuff. And so I really like this because I feel like it did leave a white cast, but it soaked up the oil and then if you brushed it out really well then it did its job so and I I love the clean fresh scent of this it just I love the smell of Dove products so um, I think I will repurchase this and that's weird for me to say because it started out as a crap product so and I know some people eat, like like I said either love these or hate these wait I mean these meaning this <laughs> hey Johnson's baby shampoo I use this to clean my brushes um, I get the lavender, the calming lavender, just because I like it. This is what I also buy for my, to wash my kids' hair, so, um, oh my gosh, I don't even have any earrings in. <laughs> I'm just a mess today. Okay, so, yeah. I'm a mess because I rushed so I could get, like, some videos filmed because we have to go look at, we, we have to go. We have to go look at some furniture, and so... My husband was like, just film your video really quick. I'm like, I can't do it really quickly. I have to do my hair. I look crazy. So anyway, but I forgot earrings. Anyway, so I would definitely repurchase this to clean brushes. I really like the way baby shampoo works. You can get regular or this one. Okay, another one is another dry shampoo. Wow, I think I have three dry shampoos. And I say this every time. Like, you guys must think I'm so dirty. But I use dry shampoo a lot. And I feel like these little aerosol cans, they... They don't last long. But this is the Suave Keratin Infusion one. I do. I like this one. I would repurchase it. I like the scent. Yep, it's a nice perfumey scent, and I like this one, so I will definitely repurchase it. Oh, my all-time favorite dry shampoo, like Batiste, whatever. I like this one the best. This is the John Frieda Anytime Volume Refresher Dry Shampoo. I found this on clearance for 3 bucks, and I was like, holler. So I need to definitely... It says it re revives volume when hair is flat. Like, it totally does. It gives you more volume, and, you know, you can use dry shampoo to suck up oil, but you can also use it just to give your hair a little bit more volume and texture. So that's what I like to use this one for, and, um, yeah, this is definitely my favorite. Okay, so husband edition. <laughs> this is my husband's Dove Men's Care Clean Defense body and face wash. Okay, he told me to tell you guys. Last time he showed his, he gave reviews on his um, swagger from 
Old Spice. Okay, he wanted you guys to know that for your man, this is his favorite one out of all of them, and this is the one that he likes the absolute best. I think he likes the scent and the feeling of it. So hang on, let me smell it. Oh yeah, 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 that's a good one. Okay, it just smells very, very fresh, clean, and manly, like, like, like a man's man. So anyways, this is his favorite, the Clean Defense Oil Balancing. I don't, I don't think that has any relevance, but I mean, you know men, like we pick out stuff based on our like needs. Men are just like, oh, that one has a yellow label, I'll get that. So I don't, he's not oily, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, I mean oily skinned. Yeah, he doesn't even have oily skin, so. Anywho, I like this one and he likes this one and this is a recommended one for all the men in your life. A sunblock, I used up this Clinique Super City Black Oil Free Daily Face Protector. Um, I liked this, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it. Uh, I think I bought it just to get like the free gift back in the day. And you know, sunscreen goes old, so you should get rid of it every year. You should buy new sunscreen every year. This is like old, 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 but you'll know why. This is a ID, like Bare Minerals. This is their foundation in tan. I use this as like a faux tan. Okay, so this is like even before it had like the, um, well, it, it used to have like the cover over it, you know, where you just like dump a little bit out, but that's long gone because I pulled it out so that I could get more to the product. I loved this because like when I would get a little bit tan in the summers, I would like mix it around, like buff it into my face and it would give me a really nice glow. So if you want to have like a nice glow but it's not too, too noticeable, maybe go for a little bit darker color in a Bare Minerals thing and you can use that as a bronzer. That is what I did with this. And it's gone, which you guys know that takes forever to use up the stuff. So I used, I used up my very, very most favorite, always repurchased, probably owned 40 of these in my lifetime. Basis Cleaner Clean Face Wash. Reason I started YouTube is because I'm like so obsessed with this stuff. This leaves my skin so clean, so refreshed. I love the scent. I love the feeling. It's cheap. You can find it at Walmart, Target, um, Meyer, HEB, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid. Like, just look for the basis line. I think they also have a bar soap. Um, and it's always near kind of the Nivea stuff. Got the Maybelline Define a Brow. Definitely repurchased. Oh, dang it. Definitely repurchased this. I like the way it's so thin. It can like get right in there. Um, I do have something else I'm using for my brow, but this is always like a go-to safety one. So I always buy this. This is in the color blonde. And I like that. Super old, but I used it up. These are one of these. Um, what is it called? The CoverGirl Lip Slicks. Used one of these up. This was in the color clear just the clear I used it up just like the chapstick I have a friend my friend Shanna she like seriously swears by these things she's like all you need is this and like she just puts it on it's in a different color it's not in clear but like she loves these things so um yeah oldies but goodies Rodan and Fields anti-age multifunction eye cream um I I really liked this I liked the scent and I liked the way it worked Definitely would be something I would repurchase. I do use the rest of the Rodan and Fields Redefine line, and um, yeah, they changed the name of it. And I am do have an upcoming video all on that and with featuring a giveaway. Okay, I used up the Maybelline uh, Dream Lumi Touch Radiant Con Concealer in Radiant. I love this thing. Definitely a repurchase. It's out at like everywhere I go, so I need a new one. Um, but I've just been using the Max. Um, Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose, the highlighter in Radiant Rose, and that's very similar to this. Um, so if you don't want to spend your money on that, this is a great like salmon colored concealer. It's it's all out, so I'm, I'm trying for you guys to get a color out, but yeah, it's all out. But this is a great under eye highlighter and great from the drugstore, only like six bucks. Will always be something I repurchase. Um, I used up one of these Rimmel exaggerate lip liners this is an east end snob oh i wish i could get like the color out hang on 
I'm wearing it today on my lips to line my lips. That's the best I could do. But it's just like a, a basic like pink with a little bit of purple in it lip liner. Like one of the perfect color lip liner. I love it. I love those Rimmel lip liners. Okay, this is so gross. Okay, this is a perfect world from Origins. It's a uh, immense hydrating body cream with white tea. It's just like a little lotion. It smells really light. Fresh. Love this lotion, and it's definitely something I would repurchase. They do have like a bigger size, and I would, I for sure get it. I like. It. I used up two candles this month, but I left the other one in my room, so I'm not gonna go get it. This is the cinnamon sugar donut from the fall time. It smells really good, like cake, vanilla cake, sugar crystals, and crushed cinnamon. That's the description. I like it. I have a ton of these because I got them really cheap um, and definitely a scent I like. I reuse and repurpose all of those Bath & Body Works jars and put like lip glosses in it or something. I have so many so if you're a friend of mine that lives in the area and you need a great little container I probably have like 30 on backup for you so call me. Okay the rest are samples and I'm just going to kind of go over them really quickly because I know like if you're not interested in seeing samples you can just click out um, but some of these I am definitely going to be able to tell you if I would purchase the full size or not so if you're interested in that then you can keep watching. Um, the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation I used this and loved it and this was in 30 beige and I purchased the foundation when I was in New York because I loved it so much. I love the smell, I love the feeling, I love everything about this. And I am going to do a foundation routine using that soon. Uh, the L'Oreal Revitalift Triple Power Deep Moisturizer didn't... I liked this but I didn't love it but I did like the smell of it. So. I felt like I couldn't commit to purchasing a full size based off such a small sample, but I think I did like the smell and I like the way it applied, but I didn't love it enough to like run out and buy it. Okay, I have the Glam Glow Super Mud Cleaning Mask. I loved this. It like really, it's supposed to like give your skin a Hollywood like appearance overnight and I liked it. Did I notice that I looked like Hollywood the next day? Probably not, but I liked it. It's really expensive so I don't think I will repurchase a full, I don't think I will purchase this in a full size. The Dior Hydro Life Flu Serum. I loved this. I would definitely purchase the Dior Hydro Life series. I'm, I want to get the night cream and the day cream and the eye cream. I loved all of them. And I, because I got samples when I was in New York, I definitely, definitely will purchase it. But I'm going to either wait till like Sephora goes on VIB sale or, and hopefully by then I will have used up a lot of my face products because I have so much stuff to use up before I could justify spending any type of money on that but that will definitely be my next skincare line that I give a try. This is the Bosha Black Mask, Black Purifying Mask and I loved it. It sucks out your impurities and your blackheads and your everything and it looks and your the oil in your skin so you put it on like a very thick layer and, and it peels off and it like seriously pulls all of your nastiness out of your face and you can look at it and it's like my friend Sarah described it as like little oil trees. It's just like so amazing. So I would definitely purchase this um, I when I run out of a good face mask. I have several to work through but this is definitely something I would be interested in put purchasing. I tried the Fresh Black Tree Age, De Age Delay Cream and I didn't like it at all. It smelled bad and I just, it wasn't something that I was interested in. Um, and then I've tried the Ole Hendrickson Sheer Transformation and Total Truth Eye Cream. I liked both of these. I don't know if I would repurchase them. I, I don't know if I would purchase them, but I... I liked them okay, um, but like I said, I think that the next line that I'm going to invest my money in is the Dior Hydro Life. So um, this will just kind of be on the back burner. I have a few other samples I need to use up. 
that is it for my empties video so thank you so very much for watching and I will see you all in my next video if you if you like these types of videos I'll try and link the other ones like this that I have done it's like great to use up products and give little mini reviews I will talk to you all later see you all in my next video Mwah.